Yeah, he is. Yeah. Like, and yeah. I just think people should have known. Like, Gilly, you should have. You're doing. You're a million dollars. You got all this shit going on, bro. Like, why you even? You know how Charleston gonna get. Like, why you even go there? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Man, so I gotta get, I gotta ask, start these questions off. I guess yeah. I'll start off by asking about, uh, say, uh, Charleston. Mm-hmm. Um, with the Gilly situation. With the Gilly situation. Damn. Will, you from Philly? Yeah, my whole family. Like, I, I yo, like three will, people. Will you people? touch that? What do you mean will I touch will you? Like, when you interview, you ask him why? I'm definitely gonna ask him why, because I wanna challenge him on, like, why he did it. Um, I seen I, I seen Gilly came at him first. He did. Um, and from pe- what I could see, yeah, from what from what I could we- see. But people like I, I'm stuck in between because I had like a few of my homies called me from Philly yesterday, and they was like asking my opinion about it. They was like, "So, are you going to still interview Charleston, or like how do you feel about it?" And it's like I'm stuck in like in between kind of because I got relationships back home. But Gilly, do you you and Gilly have a relationship? I don't have a relationship with Gilly, but it's still like you know it's kind of distasteful a little bit. You know, like yeah, because I'm never I, I only have one kid, but I could just imagine like losing the kid. Mm-hmm. Um, but Charleston, I did see him go live, and he made a good point about the snitching part too. Like you know, like you're saying don't snitch, but your son was killed in. So it's it's just touchy, you know. It's touchy. I don't. I really want to like stay away from it, but you know, I'm drawn to like my number to, one guess. So they gonna expect you to, uh, to pretty I much. I wouldn't open now. Up now me, it. I I don't I don't believe in dissing the dead. I'm me. This is I'm my own man. though. I can't speak for Charleston, but I I just can't do that because I feel like the tongue is powerful. Yeah, and you know, Charleston has a son too, mm-hmm. and now all the energy is shifted on his son, like. You know, like people are commenting and because Charleston went live saying I could call my son. I and could he call did my son. call him. But now you got people who don't like Charleston wishing bad on his son. See how energy work? Yeah. So, like I said, that's they beef. I wouldn't do that. Like, I don't believe in dissing the dead. I don't even listen to music dissing dead like people. Like, that's never been my fourth. I, I don't I don't like that. Like, and we've seen videos of people actually agreeing with him, too. Yeah. And we're like, but how can you? It's certain points that he made, which is because in in the art of war, I guess, is like once somebody come at you, all, you know, all, you know. Nothing's off limits. All gloves are off. But I just don't, me, I don't mm. believe in this and the dad, though. Yeah. Like, yeah. that's me. It's a, it's like, a, and I want to interview him and I want to, like, I want to, like, ask him, like, you know, like, damn, like, but but you have a son, bro. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, but I think you'll have, I think you'll have his his way of thinking about oh, it. I know how he, <laughs> I know how he gonna do it. I've watched him interview. I've interviewed him so many times. I understand that that he's very uh, he intellectual when it come down to responses and all that. We all are. Yeah. When you a hustler and when you fit, when you really really been living life. And it just understand things, you're able to get around these subjects and right. conversations. So but, at the end of the day, I think he's mastered that part. So see, I, I, mean, I, I, I want to hear what he's seen you in That's why Boosie is smart, because Boosie knows that I'm not even going to touch, I'm not even going to pay him no mind because Charleston, once you go at him, he's going to hit you below the belt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's just how he is. He already told you he, he's not, he's not going to fight fair, he don't fight fair. He's gonna have knives, and he's not. He's not like he's gonna hit whatever to win. That's the type of person Charleston is. So that's why Boosie's smart because Charleston been trying to rile him up, and Boosie not even trying to like act. You know, yeah. Like Boosie, Boosie, like he'll he'll uh he just be like shout out to Charleston. Like I don't fuck with him. He you know he I'm scared of him. He so I think. Gilly, you think he's scared of him, or you think he's just smart about how he's he, smart about yeah, it? Yeah, like I don't he, think he's he, scared of he's him. He's smart about he's he not no Boosie not scared of Charleston, mm. but it's like the cop shit, the telling the feds and shit like that. Boosie's scared of that. Yeah. He don't want to be near that. Right. Yeah. But I think Gilly should have known that like once you deal with Charleston, like once you go at him first, he's is no rules. Like that's just how he is. Mm, and, and you should know because you've interviewed him. A That's lot, just how he is. A when lot he, of when me, when he, me and him got into it, he Same was talking thing, all type of shit. Like, this is day. how he is. Yeah. Like, and yeah. I just think people should have known. Like Gilly, you should have. You're doing. You're a million dollars. You got all this shit going on, bro. Like, why you even? You know how Charleston gonna get. Like, why you even go there? 
Hey, not, I'm not saying Charles is right for what he's saying, but I'm just saying like yeah, yeah. every action has a reaction. Yeah. And Charleston's come on, bro, it's Charleston. Like, Man, it been it been guys on GD. GD been putting it on his page like crazy. He been he been battling with that. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And I was like, Man, you know, just the thing you gotta understand, when you go there with him, he he's gonna take it there. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I can, you know, I can really say, man. You know, this internet game, man, how far is too far? I mean, I know you've seen when Shannon Sharp, he was getting them gay gay accusations from all of these comedians man. because he interviewed comedians yeah. like me. Mm-hmm. I interview a lot of comedians. Yeah. So when you, how far is going too far? And then when he stepped out of the truck and yeah, he, he had that he picture. Did. I don't know. Like I said, I'd be thinking he trolling because he had a little dog going through the airport. <laughs> he had makeup on. And he's got the hottest channel in podcasting man, right he's now. He's fire. He's a, he's. But you said trolling, but even when he was walking through the airport and we saw that situation, and I even said to you, I said, maybe he planted somebody, their video in him. But you said no. 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 But the way how that looked, it made it look a certain way. So how is he trolling? No, I'm not talking about that on that part. I'm talking about on the makeup being put on wrong or getting out the truck and having somebody, that was his recorder. So mm-hmm. he had somebody record that yeah. and it went crazy. Mm-hmm. So, but when you get this energy where things are going right for you, people are going to come for you. Oh. you. You know that. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.